Hello, welcome to this session. Today, I will show you how you can do your translation work online in the development environment as you design your graphics for use in a language switching application. Before I do that, let me remind you that we have the capability to export a language file for use offline. Sometimes you want to do that so that a professional translator works on the file, they do the translation work, they return the file to you, you import that into the project, and voila, now you're ready to start using your translations with the language switching capabilities in our product. Now, let's go back to the main subject of this session, which is how to do that online as you design your graphics. So where do you start? First, you need to configure the project to use the languages that you need. So you go to Galaxy, Configure, languages. You are presented with this dialog box that has a grid where you will be adding the languages that you need. So let's add two languages for this demo. So we're going to add French, which is ID 1036. And by the way, you will note that you can change the font. You can change the default font used by that language. There may be different reasons why you want to do that. One reason is when you are working with a language that has a very short strings and the translations result in much longer strings. So maybe you want to choose your font carefully, perhaps using a narrow font. Let's add one more language. So I'll add Spanish, which is ID 2058, and let's just select a very different font to make it very obvious as we switch back and forth between languages. One of the things that you will notice also in this interface is that I can change the default language. So if I select French, for example, all I have to do is press this button, set default, and that would be my default language to use during design. For the purposes of this demo, we'll just leave it like this. We'll keep English as the default language. So now we're ready to start working with our languages. Let's open this symbol. It has five text boxes that we will be using to play with. On the right hand side, you will notice that there is a pull down list that displays precisely the languages that we have added for this project. If I select the French or Spanish one, you will notice that the strings still show in English because we haven't done any of translation yet. So let's select French, it's still in English. Let's select Spanish, it's still in English. How do you start translating? Well, precisely you select the language that you want to translate to. Let's just select Spanish right here and then you start replacing the text with text you want to show in the target language. So in this case, Espanol, Bomba instead of Pont, instead of On, we'll do Encendido, instead of Off, will do apagado. Has this gotten rid of my English text? No. If I go to the English, you'll see that I still have my English language right there. Let's go back to Spanish and the translations are right there. You will notice a couple of things. One is that as I entered my text in Spanish, the font changed. It changed to the default that I set in the configuration. The other thing that you will notice is that I did not translate P101. Why? Because that is a label. I don't need to translate that. However, if I wanted to, I could come here and change the font if I wanted to, to match the font of that language, even though it has not been translated.
you will run into this use case very often. You will have names that may be uh, labels, product names, company names, proper name, maybe some strings like um, a percent sign, uh, pound, something that does not need to be translated. So all you do is just leave it alone. If you don't even want to change the font, you don't change the font. Now let's work with French. And all you have to do is do the same. You select the string that you want to replace and you replace it with the string for the target, target language. So I'm replacing here with my translations. Once again, you notice that as I enter my translation, the font changes to the default font selected for that particular language. We have one more. And there you go. So now we have English, French, and Spanish. Now let's see it work at runtime. So I'm coming right here to InTouch Window Maker where I already have a window ready to receive that symbol. And I also have a small dashboard here with three buttons that I have set to change the language ID so that I can switch back and forth between the different languages. So all I need to do is embed the graphic that I just translated and I'll put it right there and we'll go into runtime and see it work. So now we're going to French, Spanish, French, English. Remember that for French, I did not change the font of P101. For Spanish, I did. And this is how you do translations online in the development environment as you design your graphics for use in a language switching application. Good. Now you know that you can do your translations online as you design your graphics. But you may still have questions in your mind. For example, if I have a very busy graphic with many text strings, do I really need to go to every single location where I have a text string and replace it right there? Well, no. All you need to do is press Control L and a dialog box comes up that allows you to enter your translations right here. You will notice that this dialog box is sensitive to the language you're working with. In this case, I have selected Spanish from the pull-down list. So all I have to do is replace it right here. You will also notice that any text that repeats in your graphic shows up here only once. That way, you only have to enter the translation once. So let's do the work. And I'm going to use the abbreviations. And there it is. You have done all your translations in one place. One more thing. Please be aware that as you do your translations, you can save the object, you can export that object, and it goes with the translations. That allows you to do incremental work, meaning that different people can be working on different graphics. They can do the translations separately online and then when you import them all back, your application has all those translations. 
Well, I hope that you have enjoyed this session and you want to come back for more. Looking forward to see you here again. Thank you.